Hey everybody, it's Jill here. Welcome back to my channel. And for today, I have a great unboxing. I have been waiting for this. It was sold out and then I went online and I waited and I like was just lurching over seeing when it was coming back and I snagged it up and this unboxing is going to be the Morphe palette from Jaclyn Hill and several of the brushes that she actually had recommended in one of her videos. So I wanted to try it all out and I'm so excited. So let's get this thing open and see the goodies inside. Nicely padded so it doesn't break. And it comes with this, says Morphe, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. And it has all of the colors listed on the back with their coordinating names. That's kind of handy. And here is her palette. I am so excited, you guys, for this. Some brushes. And I also ordered one of their sponges because it came highly recommended. I know a lot of other YouTubers who use it and say it's really good. So we're gonna try this out also in another video. Okay, first thing is we are going to get right into her palette. And here it is. So inside it says this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers. XO Jaclyn Hill. And oh my goodness, they look beautiful. I love this. I cannot wait to use this color, that color, that color, that color, and these two here. I'm really, really excited for that. Um, these down here are really, really going to be good for fall. Um, and as we only have a little bit left of summer, up here in the north anyway, these will come in handy very soon. Um, so I think what I'm going to do for you guys is a look in my next video using these warmer summer tone colors. Okay, let's open up the brushes that I ordered. And I ordered, what, six brushes? Let's see. Okay, first we have the M506. And this is a tapered blending brush. And this is M504. This is one that a ton, a ton of YouTubers use and it's great for getting all over and laying down that crease color in the beginning. Next is the R37. And this is a little longer of a blending brush um, than what this one is. And it's not quite as fat as the 504. So it's right in between. I think that one will come in really handy. Next, we have the M513. And this one is a little shorter than that one, um, which is the um, R37. And I think it's a great one if you want to get a little more precise with your color in your crease. Next is M5433. I'm sorry. Why did I say that? I added a whole nother number. No, it's M433. And this one is a it's a little flatter on the sides. So this one would be good a little better at packing on some color if you want to get a little more intensity with that. And then we have the M510. And this baby is going to be for the highlighter. I cannot wait to use this one. So excited to use this one. Um, especially Jacqueline Hill, she says this one is perfect for the highlighting. So that's what I'm going to use in my next tutorial with her palette here. What I got from Morphe is the highlight and contour sponge. If I can get this box open. Ah, mine has a little like notch out of the straight end right here. Well, that's disappointing. 
So I'm really excited to use this sponge because it has the flat sides here that is great for baking, great for contour all around the face, getting around the nostrils, getting into more precise areas on the face, and it's makes it a lot easier than say this is my dirty real techniques one but it only has one flat side and it's also rounded so it doesn't not get as precise as what sometimes you want it to get so this one i think will do the job really nicely so i'm excited about that all right guys that was it for my unboxing um this was just a short quick video and what i'm going to do is in the next video i am actually going to do some swatches and I'm going to do a um, eye look with her palette for you guys. I'm glad that you tuned in. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe and become part of the Got To Be Gel family. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.